All right, Coach, a, uh, a great win last night and in Muncie, uh, pretty much a carbon copy of the first meeting up there. Mm -hmm. Great defense, and this time your guys able to convert down the stretch. Well, we made some plays. You know, obviously Eric hits the two big free throws. G makes a, a big time drive and, and finishes. And so we had some guys really step up. You know, Haruna and Dion both taking charges were, were really big plays. Uh, Chris finishing around the basket. And, you know, we just had some guys that, that did some things to really help us um, win the basketball game down the stretch. And, you know, we played them the first time there. Um, we put ourselves in a position to win, but they made a play at the very end of the game, and, and we just couldn't overcome that. Um, but happy for our kids and, and being able um, to come back. And, you know, we've lost to that team twice. Um, we had lost to them twice this year, but yet and still – um, to go up there and to be confident and, and really um, really stay composed um, for the most part. You know, you think about it, Giovanni McKnight has five points for us on the road, but yet and still we're able to win the game. So it tells you that our defense really did a good job and helped us. You know, we talked before the game that rebounding was going to be key. Talk about Eric Washington. <laughs> nine boards. Nine rebounds right. for your point guard and just an outstanding stat line for you. Well, I told him last night, in fact, on the ride back, I, I asked him, I said, have you ever had 10 rebounds? And he said, no. I said, oh, too bad you only had nine. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was giving him a hard time. But, no, he, I mean, terrific stat line. I think he was two to one. I think he had six assists, three turnovers, may have four. Um, but, you know, 15 points, nine rebounds, uh, that's called a stat sheet stuffer. And so, you know, he just did all kind of things throughout the game to um, help us. And then, of course, having the uh, – the onions to ice the game there. Well, I shouldn't say ice it, but to finish it off for us. Um, but, you know, it's funny. I'm really happy for G because as I looked at that game, I, I did not realize that G only had five points, but he was engaged in the game. And, and when you're engaged in the game and you're worried about one thing, you're still able um, to be uh, productive um, in the game. And so, you know, you look at a kid like Eric, um, Chris Bryant, Caleb Wright, LJ Livingston, um, Yede, those are all kids that have never been to Cleveland. And so to get them to Cleveland and was really, really, really a nice thing. Now, obviously, you don't just want to get there. You want to be successful. But the start is you got to get there first. And so I'm really happy for them. Four out of the last five, and certainly the great play continues. And one of the guys, and yeah, we've talked about Haruna and Wade and Mills coming along, but Chris Bryant has continually gotten better each and every game. Really got things going for you in last night's win. Oh, man, he, he got it going for us at the beginning. I mean, scores, left hand, jump hook in the post, um, finishing around the rim, active, 14 points. He's been big. I mean, he has stepped up in a big, big way and has given us some presence inside, as well as, as Caleb Wright. You know, those two kids have done a terrific job. And, and obviously, you know, teams are going to score, but they've been physical and, and they fought. And then, of course, we've got the three-headed monster with LJ. And so, you know, depending on what kind of matchup it is, it typically depends on how the rotation is going to go down there. But, you know, I, I would tell you, man, what Chris Bryant's been able to put together here down the stretch. And so, you know, the key for him is to, you know, keep his head down, um, keep working, and, and, you know, put his nose to the ground and, and don't let up. On to Cleveland, uh, and it's all about surviving and moving Advancing, on to the next right. round. And you got the Buffalo Bulls, a team that you split with this, week, this year. Right. Well, just played them here, what, a week ago? Um, so they're certainly sitting and they're hungry, um, looking, I'm sure, to get revenge. They beat us here. We beat them there. So, you know, it's it's the toss-up game here. Um, they're a good team. They're, they're, they're talented. They can really get it going offensively. They can really break you down off the bounce. Um, the one thing, you look at this as a team that – has some kids on there with tournament experience, having won the tournament last year, and then, of course, playing in NCAA. Um, I think that obviously counts for something. Um, so we're, we're going to have to go play the game really well. I mean, they're so good in transition and, and what they're able to do. Um, but, you know, I've told our team, you know, we'll, we'll take them one at a time. Um, don't let the game become 
um, the end the end all we're you know we, we talk about in the locker room we're not coming up with some cure for cancer so it didn't it isn't that big of a deal you know keep it in perspective um, what it is and then of course go out execute and and if you leave it out there on the court and, and you've done everything you can then you know that's what it is and you live with the outcome of it you know, it's that time of year. If you get to the final, you're playing five games basically in a week, counting last Friday's game against Ohio. How important is the rest, and how do you get the rest in a situation like that? <laughs> well, the the rest is incredibly important. So a day like today is a day we try to take advantage of and make sure the team is rested. Uh, you know, when you're in practice at this point, you know, you hopefully you're just only making adjustments, tinkering with a few things, but not trying to. You really trying to get them ready mentally and make sure that their body from a physical perspective is well rested. Um, the other side of that is is I remember, they remember, you know, when when you're in the summer and you're playing summer league games, you want to play four or five games in the summer. I mean, that's what it's all about. Well, here, I always tell them it's the same thing. Obviously, it's, it's more taxing and everything else, but – you know, that's what it's all about, playing games. And then, you know, are you going to be tired? Yes. But you have to play smart. Um, that's part of it. That's why we talked about last night, taking care of the basketball, um, doing those things. And then, you know, you get going and Uncle Mo gets on your side. You're not as tired as you think you are. And hopefully you get right there to the end. And that's when it takes over and you realize, hey, this is for all the marbles. This is what you dream of as a kid. I was fortunate enough when I played in college to play an NCAA tournament, so I know what that's like. I've coached in them, and so, you know, you always want everyone to um, get that experience because it's really, really something special. Coach, good luck Thursday. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.